Hi there, thanks for tuning in. Richard here with another cooking video and also in desperate need of a bloody good haircut. But right now in the UK, I can't get one. Now I do have to contain my excitement for today's food because it is one of my all time favorite guilty pleasures. It's the one and only Donny Kebab. Now, if you're watching this video, we've all probably been there. You've had a few pints, a bottle of red, you're a bit drunk, and you got that insatiable craving for something high in fat and very salty. When you get on the phone and you order a dirty kebab, you absolutely smash it. You wake up the next day and you think, why did I do that? I have to start to tell you um, how well this recipe works. Yes, of course, it's not super healthy for you. It's still a doni kebab but it's much, much healthier. You know what's gone into it, and more importantly, you made it. So without further ado, let's get on and check out the ingredients. So we're also going to knock up a lemon yogurt sauce to complement your doner kebab. So let's crack on. Right, let's check out the seasoning spices for the meat for our doner kebab. One heaped teaspoon of dried oregano. Two heaped teaspoons of ground cumin. Two heaped teaspoons of ground coriander three level teaspoons of sea salt or kosher salt, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Now let's get those quantities in a bowl and give it a good old mix up. Right, we have to get the meat part of this right. This is one kilo of lamb mince or two pounds. Uh, it is 15% fat, if you get uh, ground lean mince, your kebab is going to be too dry so uh, I know we like to keep it healthy but uh, this is a kebab at the end of the day so yes there is the mince, we have to get that bit right. One large white onion or two medium white onions that I've got here diced. Three garlic cloves minced or crushed. Right this is the curveball in this recipe but trust me it makes no end of difference. We want 200 grams or 7 ounces of streaky bacon roughly chopped. Okay with well, all those spices that we mixed up let's uh, throw that in with the mince. Blow up if you want like I have. Give it a good old mix up. Um, and I do agree that um, this is quite high, this recipe is quite high on the, in, with the salt content. Um, if you are watching your salting intake just put probably a teaspoon less of salt in it. Um, I wouldn't blame me if you did. So let's give that a good old massage and get all those spices all mixed in in that mince. The better we mix it, the more tasty and consistent the flavour of our Donny Kebab will be. Now once you're happy that everything's combined well enough, We'll cover that in cling wrap, cling film, and refrigerate for a minimum of two hours or a maximum of 24. Next, preheat your oven to 150 degrees C on a fan oven or 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Give everything a good old mix up and combine well. Once that's done, if you have a food processor, blend your meat mixture in two separate batches for about five to eight seconds. If you don't have a food processor, just gently massage as shown for about 10 minutes. Next, on three overlapped layers of foil, shape your mince mixture into a general loaf shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then wrap it up into a sweetie shape and scrunch the edges as shown.
Now make a little trivet with some scrunched up rolls of foil and place your little sweetie kebab thingamajiggy on the top. Now cook for one hour, turn your kebab over and cook for another half an hour. Once the 90 minutes is up, increase your oven's heat to 250 degrees C or 480 degrees Fahrenheit. Cook for another 10 to 15 minutes. Right, while we wait for our kebab to finish off cooking, let's knock up our quick lemon yogurt sauce. You can do this quite a few hours ahead if you wish. So we need 250 grams of Greek yogurt or one cup, one garlic clove minced or crushed, one teaspoon of ground cumin, two tablespoons of lemon juice and a bit of salt and pepper. Give that a good old mix up and there you go, the easiest lemon yogurt sauce you will ever make. Okay, remove your kebab sweetie shaped log thing from the oven and it should look something like this And I know it doesn't look that appetizing yet, but hey, we're not finished with it yet But for now, let's just slice it as fiddly as we can. I find us using a good knife the best Some people use a potato peeler. It's up to you now If you're planning on having a session some booze and stuff you can cook this right up to this point and uh, Keep it in your fridge when the beer munch is kicking and you're ready to scoff your kebab, heat a large pan over a high heat, add a tablespoon or two of oil and cut your kebab meat in batches. Now be careful not to overcrowd the pan or you'll just boil the kebab meat. You're looking to get the edges crispy and a nice good bit of colour. When ready it should look something like this. Now it's time to assemble an epic kebab and it will be worth the wait, I can assure you. Preheat some shop bought naan breads in your oven. If you'd like to learn how to make a naan bread from scratch, leave me a comment and I'll post the video. Next, place some salad of your choice on your preheated naan and then the best bit, load some of that delicious, salty, crispy doni kebab meat which we've just made on top of that salad. Next, go on with some of that delicious lemon yogurt sauce which we made earlier and finish off, if you want to, with your choice of hot sauce. My choice tonight is a bit of cheeky Nando's. Next, roll the kebab up, get it down your boat race and enjoy. Absolutely delicious and once you've tried this Donna kebab recipe, I'd be surprised if you ever order a kebab from your local takeaway again. Definitely give this recipe a go. You won't be disappointed. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a quick thumbs up. Now I'm really made up that my little channel in the corner of YouTube has reached the 200 subscriber mark. I just want to say huge thanks to everyone who's helped me achieve that. So this is where I say, if you haven't subscribed, do consider it. I'd really appreciate it. So for now, take care, keep safe, and I'll see you next time.